right. I want to show you an example I have to use this new feature called Hot Fields. So for this example, I'm going to pretend that I want to sell tickets for an event. So I first created a bot field called available tickets and I set its value to 10. Now I'm going to create a new flow called tickets. And in this example, I'm going to check if I have available tickets. So if I do, I'm going to ask the user how many tickets he wants to buy. And if I don't, I'm going to send a message saying, sorry, but we don't have enough tickets. So my first step is going to be a condition. Because first of all, I have I want to check the, how many if I have available tickets. So for this, I need to have at least one available ticket. So my, I'm going to check my custom field if it's greater than or equal one. If so, I'm going to ask the user, how many tickets do you want to buy? I'm going to use a user input so I can save the, the answer into another custom field. So, how many tickets do you want to buy? And the reply type is going to be a number and I'm going to save it to this custom field called number of tickets. And if I don't have available tickets, I'm going to send a message saying, sorry, but we don't have more tickets. Any tickets? We don't have more tickets left. Sorry if it sounds weird in English, but it's not my first language. So I'm going to add another step because now it's going maybe I have 10 tickets, but maybe the user wants to buy 20 or 90 or 100. So I have to check if I have enough tickets. So I'm going to add another step. And again, I'm going to add a condition. In this condition, I'm going to check if I have enough available tickets. So for this, I need that my number of tickets is less than or equal available tickets. If so, I'm going to say, okay, if I'm going to, if so, I'm going to say, to send a message saying, okay, you just bought the tickets. But first, I need to reduce the num to decrease the number of available tickets. So I'm going to add an action. Sorry, I'm going to add an action. And I'm going to use set custom field. And the custom field is going to be available tickets. And I'm going to use a custom formula. So the value is going to be available tickets minus number of tickets. And then I'm going to send a message saying thank, uh, thank you. You just both, both, a bit of tickets, tickets. And I'm going to say that an image is going to be here. But if not, if I don't have enough tickets, I'm going to say, sorry, but we don't have enough tickets and i'm going to ask anyway if he wants to buy tickets do you still want to buy tickets and i'm going to get to quick replies yes or no yes i'm going to send it back to to the question of how many tickets he wants to buy and if it's not, I'm going to say, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. I'm going to add a delay here. Here too. And 
and because this is an example, I'm going to add another card to buy more tickets. That you can buy more tickets here. Buy more tickets. And to send it back to the first condition, which is the starting structure here. And both the positive and the negative answer I'm going to send me back there. So this is my final step. And even here. Okay, so this is a very short example, and I'm going to preview it now. So it's asking me how many tickets I want to buy. I'm going to say nine. And I'm saying sorry, but we don't have enough tickets. Do you still want to buy tickets? I'm going to say yes. And I need how many tickets do you want to buy? Now, for example, in, if we don't have enough tickets, you can say sorry, but if we don't have enough tickets, we only have um, um, put the number of tickets that you have available. So the user knows how many tickets he can buy. No. I'm going to say five. And I'm going to say thank you. It's going to say thank you. Yeah, for five tickets. And um, don't forget that you can buy more tickets here. So now I may have only five tickets left. So if I want to buy six tickets, I'm going to say sorry, but I don't have enough tickets. So I hope this little example helps you. Helps you. Um, I'm going to share the URL of this example so you can test it by yourself if you want. Thank you.